et nous accueillons le and jury qui se positionne juste ici, en face de nous, ils auront la difficile tâche d'arbitrer entre tous les projets qui vont arbitrer tous ces maintenant sur scène, vous allez entendre parler de nos gagnants, vous allez entendre parler de biotech, pharmacie, pharmaceutical research, health, silver economy, et vous allez découvrir cinq très promising startups du secteur. Elles sont très promising, elles vont devenir des compagnies internationales, multinationales, et donc elles vont donner leurs pitches en anglais. Le premier de cet après-midi sera Maurice Lubitsky. Bonjour. Hi guys. Bonjour. Alors Maurice, you're here to tell us about Epilab, Maurice, and it's one of a kind, unique Epilab tuberculosis test, and you have three minutes on this floor to tell them how it works. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Hi, nice to meet you. Merci beaucoup. C'est super d'être ici. Okay. Um, do you guys know how many people died last year from tuberculosis? 1.5 million people died last year from tuberculosis. It makes this disease the second most infectious cause of death in the world. Fortunately for us, 80% of the cases are located in developing countries. And the WHO invested in a program to end tuberculosis. Unfortunately, among the 10 million new cases you have each year, 4 million are undetected. And so why? Why 4 million people are undetected for tuberculosis? Because of the lack of innovation to detect TB. To detect TB, you can either use molecular bi biology with experts or microscopy. However, those two tests, unportable and simple, which entails an augmentation of the disease transmission and number of cases. Fortunately for us, Worldwide, the WHO designed some specifications to eradicate TB, and they designed the triage test, a portable, simple, rapid, and cheap test. And here at Epilab, we are on a mission to eradicate TB and develop the first ever triage test. We're four co-founders with Muriel Rochelet, Elodie Barbier, who invented the patent, and Clément Dubois, my associate, and I, Maurice Rubetsky. We are a team of 12, uh, based in Ecole Polytechnique, APHP, and INRAE in Bourgogne. Our test is quite simple. You collect a sputum sample then that you insert in the blue cartridge that you can see on the center of the slide. And then, after two hours of incubation and a scientific process that is patented in the United States and in Europe, you detect electrochemically whether or not the patient has TB. Now, there is a great need validated by an, an enormous ecosystem, ranging from national TB programs, foundations like the Gates Foundation, or big institutions like the WHO. All those institutions have agreed that there is a great need and also expressed a need for Epilab. Now, in 2021, we raised 1 million, 1 million euro. We gathered a team of 12 people that is going to grow to 16 people by December. And we had a first prototype that was that was tested clinically. In 2023, we want to have an MVP, conduct a clinical trial on, on cohorts on the ground and raise 5 million euros. And we believe that it's with you guys that we'll detect and eradicate tuberculosis. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Exactly on the gong. That was absolutely perfect. And we are going to stay on the topic of test, but we're going to listen now to Cyril Gilbert. Cyril, welcome. Cyril, bienvenue. Hello, everyone. Cyril, uh, your startup, uh, Kimalis, provides an improved, sorry, sensitivity for in vitro analysis. Exactly. And I have no clue what I just said, so okay. just explain, explain it to me okay. in three minutes. Sure. Okay. So, hello, everyone. So, here is something you all know after two years of pandemics, a lateral flow assay. But some of you may not know that this assay contains gold nanoparticles. That's the red color that you can see on the membrane. And those gold nanoparticles are linked to the lack of reliability of this assay. Why? It's because 
current surface chemistries, chemical coating that exists today, do not allow to effic efficiently control what's happening on the surface of these gold nanoparticles. This triggers losses both in sensitivity and specificity. Chemialis developed a unique and patented chemical coating applied to any type of gold surface that allows to increase the sensitivity of any assay by a factor of 5 to 10 compared to existing solutions, that uh, to get an optimal specificity in any type of passion sample, like saliva, serum, and we can save up to 50% in regions needed to carry out the assay. We use this technology platform to address two types of customers. First, we supply lateral flow assay developers with gold nanoparticles that we produce and coat internally in our laboratory. It's a 500 million euros market, addressable market for Chemialis. We've got our first client sign on this segment, and we are starting to scale up our gold nanoparticle production and coating capacity. The second type of customers we address are the chip-based point-of-care assay developer. We supply them with our gold, uh, uh, with our surface chemistry for their sensors uh, through a licensing model. It's another additional 600 million euros market for Chemialis. We've got our first client sign as well, and we are looking for new partners in this field. Uh, our competitors are mainly gold nanoparticle, uh, gold nanoparticle and chip providers offering different kind of surface chemistries, uh, mainly in North America, and all the benchmarks carried out showcase the superiority of our technology. We are a team of eight people today, six PhDs, two co-founders, Claude Nogues, who invented the technology, former team leader at the ENS Paris-Saclay, and myself, Cyril Gilbert. Chemialis is my second company, and I spent several years investing in deep tech companies across Europe. Uh, in terms of revenues, we are targeting 6.5 million euros by the end of 2026, and profitability within the same year, uh, with revenues coming both from uh, the supply of gold nanoparticles for lateral flow assay and uh, the licensing of our technology. And the team size will uh, approach nearly 30 people uh, by the end of 2026. We are raising 1 million euros in equity today, mainly to finance the scale-up of our technology, to strengthen our technology, and to uh, start building a sales and marketing team. We've already secured 1.3 million euros in non uh, dilutive financing from uh, the government, and we'll complete this round, this 1 million euro equity round, uh, with 500k in non dilutive financing. Uh, we are looking uh, for investors who know the in vitro diagnostic industry and who are able to accelerate our technology adoption uh, across Europe and beyond. Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep the remote. Thank you very much. And now I call to the stage Marie Cambo. Welcome, Marie. You're the CEO of Innovem. It's a startup that focuses also on in vitro diagnosis and therapeutic development for the sickle cell disease, which is the most common genetic disease in the world. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, I do have good notes. The floor is yours. Thank you. So, every, uh, hello, everybody. So, thank you for the introduction. Yes, at Innovem, our mission is to improve the medical care of sickle cell disease. So, perhaps you know about sickle cell disease, perhaps you don't, but this is the most most common genetic disease in the world affecting around sorry affecting around 5 million patients <laughs> the medical care is very complex, so expensive. The, the, it is estimated to cost around 1.5 million dollars a year per patient in the US. And because there is a lack of curative treatments and a lack of diagnostic tools, life expectancy of the patient is still shortened by 30 years globally. So what we do at Innovem is to develop unique diagnostic tools and thanks to a combination of three innovative biomarkers <laughs> uh, on the top of standards, we developed algorithm of, uh, with specific uh, intelli artificial intelligence in order to predict the evolution of the disease and to guide the physician uh, to propose a personalized treatment and to avoid deleterious manifestations. Our first product 
will target pain crisis, which is the most common manifestation and the first cause of patient's death. So if today there is treatment that exists to prevent pain crisis, there is still no tool to predict their occurrence. So some of the benefits of our project are listed below. First, it will deeply improve the medical care of the patients. And because one of our goals is to reduce of at least 20% of emergency room visits, it will save $300 million a year in the US. And above this, it will deeply improve life expectancy, expectancy sorry, and quality of patients. So where we stand now, we already have uh, signed for more than of one million of euro of contracts with industry leaders, and this help us to build the scientific team and to, de to develop sorry, the predictive algorithm in a, in a retrospective study. So now we are about to start the validation study in a multicentric uh, pronostic a prospective study in France, and to extend this study to the US and to Africa, we need a $5 million financing. We anticipate to launch our first project for research use only by the end of 2024. This project is led by an expert team of uh, scientists, I'm backed with a PhD and training in entrepreneurship, and Pablo Bartolucci had the biggest clinical unit for sickle cell disease in France, and we benefit from a network of KOL and leaders. Thank you very much. I'll, gi I'll give you about a, a couple of seconds more just because your, your slides were uh, acting a bit crazy. You have one more thing to say to our jury? No, just if you want to come uh, and join us to be part of this meaningful project, it will be a pleasure for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. And up next is Jean-Alexandre Kaminski. Hello. Hello, Jean-Alexandre. Just push this one, okay. the big green one. The green one. Okay. Uh, Jean-Alexandre, you're here to tell us about MYPL, and you'll tell us how it's pronounced correctly. And it's an innovative software solution for clinicians treating cancer patients. Absolutely. You have three minutes. Hello, everyone. My name is Jean-Alexandre Kamininski. I'm co-founder at uh, MyPL, and MyPL stands for My Personal Life Scopes. That's the acronym. Uh, most of you are familiar with uh, healthcare, I believe, about the hospital organization, maybe a little bit less familiar with cancer. What uh, you, uh, uh, you should know is that uh, providing the correct treatment for a uh, cancer patient is very tricky, very complex, because you're looking at a patient who is himself or herself very complex. What you might not know is that uh, there is a very important strategic meeting, which is called the MTC, Multidisciplinary Team Conference. This is actually the picture uh, taking place here in my slide. In this uh, meeting, which takes place everywhere in the world, in every cancer center in the world, you basically screen approximately between 50 to 100 patients per session every week. And you get about three minutes to make a decision on the life of this patient. Now, what you might not know is that uh, it is very difficult to get access to the information that you require in order to make the right decisions. So at MyPL, we are, oops, we are developing this great solution, which is a first-of-a-kind solution, to help the medical teams make the right decisions with uh, uh, information which is credible, which is qualified. And we help them in terms of the workflow to reduce the preparation time. We also reduce the time they spend during this meeting. And we, uh, we already are getting some very uh, interesting information from the users that the clinical decisions are improved themselves. Now, we have developed this great architecture 
uh, in order to be scalable and robust because, of course, we would like to deploy in as many uh, hospital sites as possible in the world. We need to basically hook up to the data where it is, so interoperability is uh, uh, a big priority to us, and we have uh, all the tools to structure the data. Of course, it speaks for itself, we are GDPR, we are very keen on what we can do with the data and the security around it. We have gained a C certification not long ago for this uh, platform solution. This is us, a uh, great team, I can speak about everybody afterwards. We are, at this stage, um, gaining, I would say, attraction with the users uh, uh, through three clinical trials. We uh, are... Where are you? You, I, I'm not going to cut you in the middle of a sentence. Okay. Where, where are you? But it's one sentence. Yeah, I still need uh, one thing to say. Um, 25 uh, hospitals for the users, and we are currently seeking 1.5 million uh, for, uh, for the commercialization of our solution within the uh, hospitals in Europe, in Canada, and as well in the United States. That was an important sentence. Thank you. This you keep, I keep that. Thank you very much. And our fifth and last speech for this uh, biotech sequence is INSPEC CEO, Jérôme Michon. Hello. Jérôme, welcome. INSPEC improves chemical detection, and you've got three minutes to tell us how. Yes, so it is my great pleasure uh, to to tell you about INSPEC's mission to reduce the cost of drug manufacturing. We aim to do so by reducing, by reducing the failures that may happen in chemical processes. To understand why it's such a big issue, let us consider the fact that a single bioprocess run in a, bi in a bioreactor like the one you see here, or in even larger ones as can be found in industry, may take up to 30 days and create over a million dollars worth of products. It is then clear that if the slightest issue happens with this process, uh, it not only has a very significant um, financial cost, but also a large social cost because of the potential delays in delivering the treatment to patients. This is exactly the problem that INSPEC wants to solve. To do so, we are developing a new chemical analysis system based on our patented um, optical microchip sensing technology that can be inserted um, in, a, in a reaction, in a chemical reaction, to know in real time the chemical composition of, of the reaction. Uh, our sensors are more sensitive, cheaper and smaller than the current analytical uh, solutions. Uh, it lets users better characterize the, uh, the reactions, therefore optimize them and reduce failures. To develop this, this product, we can, um, uh, with this product, we, uh, we aim to address new use cases in the very large market of chemical analysis tools. Uh, in particular, our sensors are uniquely compatible with single-use technologies that are very widely used in uh, biotech at the moment, but do not have uh, appropriate, um, appropriate sensing uh, technologies. To develop this product, we can count on the expertise of our funding team, uh, uh, expertise in uh, optical systems, as well as the experience from our five-person um, team at the moment, um, which we plan to scale up to 20 people in the next uh, 18 months as we increase the, eff the, the efforts both on the business development side and the technical development side. Uh, we are notably about to start pilot testing of our product with three, uh, with three selected customers with the hope of uh, iterating on the product based on the feedback of the customers, of course, and then, um, and then uh, converging towards an optimized product 
within a year that we could start selling at scale. To do this, we will need to raise uh, a further round of uh, roughly 4 million euros to have the means of industrializing our solution. This is INSPEC's vision to enable Industry 4.0 in chemistry in bi and biology thanks to our high-performance chemical sensing technology. Thank you for your attention. Bravo, because the gong is about to go. There's no gong. Not even. That you, you're not helping me uh, with my effects. Thank you very much. So, this was uh, our last contestant. Merci à toutes les start-up candidates. Merci à notre jury. Many thanks to all the startups. Many thanks to the jury for helping uh, to select the winner that will be disclosed this afternoon uh, during the award ceremony. We are going to go on a, with a panel discussion dedicated to translational medicine. I know absolutely nothing about this, so I want to give the floor to Marion.